everybody, Jim here, and check this out, a beautiful sunny day, why not go to the laundromats, no we're not going to a laundromat, we are going to go and look for some retro games, I was in the neighborhood of Hamura today, uh, my old stomping grounds, I was here to go to the hard off, kind of my uh, my old standby hard off, but every time I'm here, which is typically like once a year, uh, you know I've got to stop here. Uh, long time viewers of the channel will recognize this hobby off because when I first started my channel, like a long time ago, 11, 12 years ago, uh, I used to be coming to this hobby off quite a lot. Uh, so let's do some game hunting, have some fun, starting with Game Boy. Uh, and they had quite a few of these, including some Kirby Pinball, uh, Super Mario Land, some Hamtaro, if you're a Hamtaro fan, uh, Twinbee, and Wario Land, all the good stuff, and a whole lot more. Uh, I tried to keep this video a little short today, so I did uh, kind of like my video hunt and then my proper combing through everything hunt later. This case had some cool stuff in it, Super EDF. Uh, Ninja Warriors again, amazing game. Final Fight Tough, Super Back to the Future 2, Ninja Gaiden Trilogy, Super Star Wars, Yogi Bear, which I've I've never played, and they had Hyper Dimension in there, Dragon Ball Z, even though it's not really a very rare, expensive game. Complete copy of Airwolf, uh, Calling All Jan Michael Vincents, even some cool Famicom disc. Uh, Rocket Knight Adventures, 11,000 yen. That's in the neighborhood of like $90. Some Neo Geo CD, a little bit of PC Engine, and some more Game Boy, some Contra, some Rockman World, some of the stuff they thought was, uh, I guess, a little more valuable than what they had just hanging on the racks. And we had some consoles here, although not very many consoles. And this caught my eye. Now um, they're using this little advert, this little... Uh, character here I saw in like a different heart off somewhere um, this Neo Geo CD box uh, it's it's telling me uh, to go ask the staff about it because it wasn't priced and there was no console inside it was just an empty box but we got that DOA Xbox and uh, the connect Star Wars Xbox 360 27 5 for that so that's like I don't know the neighborhood of 240 bucks maybe so there you go, and then a whole bunch of boxes up here for consoles. Again, asking you to go and have a look at the staff because the consoles are not actually in the boxes themselves. But we got some PS2 games here, and I like how they just have them nicely displayed like this. Uh, it suits my purposes really well. We got some Blood Will Tell, King of Fighters, uh, some Kingdom Hearts, Pop and Music, all that good stuff. Even though I'm not a huge Pop and Music Fan, or Kingdom Hearts really I think I've played through the first Kingdom Hearts game and that's it I've never played any of the sequels but I did really enjoy the first game um, what else we got here we got some uh, I guess they got some PS ones on hand and Wii's so that's nice uh, we got a bunch of the Devil May Cry games here some drum mania DDR max some DBZ uh, sparking meteor uh, for 1,200 yen, that's 13, what, 1320 after tax. And with the new, uh, Tenkaichi Budokai 4 coming out, uh, that's gonna be something to get hyped for. I was a big fan of that series back when they were new. Uh, they were fun, they gave you kind of the, uh, the Dragon Ball Z experience, right? Flying around a big old open battlefield. Fantavision. Uh, not the orange kind, mind you. And, uh, some Let's Burabo Nantoka. Uh, it's a, a sequel, uh, to, um, uh, what was it? Mad Maestro? They made a second Mad Maestro, Phantom Kingdom, Metal Gear Solid, Medal of Honor, which I don't like. I've never liked competitive first-person shooters. Like, after, like, Doom and Wolfenstein and maybe a few other, uh, F early FPS games. I gave up on the genre. I didn't have fun with them anymore. Uh, R-Type... R-Type 4. R4 Ridge Racer Type 4. Uh, one of my favorite racing games ever. And Ace Combat 3. The first Ace Combat game I played. 
and uh, really loved it. We got some Intelligent Cube and Intelligent Cube Final, which I was informed that IQ Final... I thought it was a Japan exclusive, but I think someone told me it was actually re released in, in PAL. Uh, not 100% sure. Uh, Wizard, what the hell is that? Wizard Memory or something? Don't know what that is. The original Ace Combat. And then some more stuff. What does this say? Uh, Punch Diet? Punchy Diet. I, I, judging by the back, I, it looks like it's meant to be played with a peripheral. Punch the diet. Maybe it's meant to help you lose some weight? I don't know. Kind of the, the ring fit of its day, except you're punching. That's supposed to be good exercise, right? Boxing and stuff like that. Carnage heart. And what else? Oh, gun, bullet, whatever. Uh, light gun game by Namco. Another one that I can't recall if it had, like, an international release or not. And they had some of the Cool Borders games. They had Cool Borders, Cool Borders 4, Cool Borders 3, and Cool Borders 3 again, and then Gallop Racer 2. So I guess, I don't know, somebody was like, Gallop Racer, that's kind of like Cool Borders, right? No, I'm afraid it's not. Legend of Mana, still a 500 yen game, which right now is probably on the neighbor neighborhood of like $3.75. So if you're a Legend of Mana fan, you want to get it cheapy cheap you're gonna to want to pick up the Japanese version fighting illusion with Andy hug on the cover it looks like Peter arts on the back uh, I used to be kind of a fan of um, you know k1 and kickboxing and stuff back in the day grand stroke or ground stroke oh this I could not pass or no ori I love this game uh, fun little cooking game yes show it off Jim that was like my find of the day right there. It was 500 yen too. So that was going home with me. I love that game. Uh, initially played it on like a demo. It was on, uh, back in the day they had those PlayStation Underground Jam Packs. And they would always have a little import game, a little Japanese game that wasn't yet available or might never be available in uh, North America. Another one of those diet games. What the hell is that? 200 yen for Battle Arena Toshinden. Uh, Tomb Raider, which I had forgotten that those were published by Capcom in Japan. Um, but yeah, I was really happy to find Ore no Ori. If you've never played it before, I, I highly recommend checking it out. Uh, here we have uh, what is essentially Rival Schools 2, the uh, Japan exclusive kind of sequel, because it's, it's Niketsu Seishin Nikki 2. Um, though it's really the same gameplay, and it's just got some more mini-games and a couple more characters. Uh, Namco Museum, what is it, 2 or 3? Got a lot of good stuff in there. Galaga, Dig Dug, etc., etc. Uh, Courier Crisis, Rockman X4. A very tiny little uh, selection of Dreamcast games. Four games, if you can believe it or not. Biohazard, Code Veronica. Uh, great game. And then that same weird wizard game again a lot of dating sims and stuff on the saturn and ps1 that i don't know what the hell uh, they are so you, you're gonna hear me a lot picking something up and just what the hell is this uh poyo poyo 2 though of course always classic and that's what 200 yen as well i set that aside because i was gonna pick that up 200 yen that's that's like a, only a little more than maybe like a dollar u.s for like just an amazing puzzle game. Here we're coming to some boxed N64 and Super Famicom games. And this is where I, I started to feel like, okay, other people have been in here <laughs> like picking this stuff up. Because um, we're going to see some kind of cool stuff here. Mario RPG, Dragon Quest, uh, Seiken Densetsu 3, amazing game, and Seiken Densetsu 2, a.k.a. Secret of Mana, the DBZ games. As well, these are all pretty common. 1500 for that now, complete in box. Um, but a lot of what's left here is like horse racing and pachinko and like soccer and, and baseball games. So I feel like a lot of the boxed Super Famicom games, uh, someone's been in here picking through a lot of them. Um, Gambare Goemon 4, I believe, for 2500 yen. Uh, which is a good deal on that, and that's a great game, and uh, pretty good shape, too, so I was 
Happy to come across that. We got some Street Fighter 2 Elfera. Not sure what that is. Kind of looks like Maximo. And uh, we've got some Poyo Poyo. We've got Poyo Poyo 2 and Poyo Poyo Remix. This is the remix. Uh, and like I said, you can see there's like lots of horse racing, pachinko, golf, and other various sports titles. Uh, GameCube games, though. Kind of a pleasant surprise. I don't really come across a lot of GameCube games uh, when I'm out hunting. Not sure why. Pretty sure it was a fairly popular console. 500 yen for Biohazard Remake. That's really good. But then we come to uh, Biohazard Last Escape. And that's 3,500 yen. That's uh, more expensive than I usually see it for. And then for 1,000 yen, probably about, I don't know, $7.50 right now, you can get yourself a nice uh, copy of Wind Waker. Puyo Puyo Sun, which is my favorite in the series. Or Puyo Puyo Sun 64, excuse me. If you leave out the 64, how are people going to know it's on the Nintendo 64? You got a Pilot Wing 64, Mario Tennis 64, Mario Kart 64, Super Mario 64, 64, 64, 64. And uh, you should just call everything Gombari Goimon 64 and Bomberman 64, DK 64. Uh, they should have just released a game called 64, 64. The Lone PC Engine game. Uh, Fire Pro Wrestling 2, that's, that's a punch in the gut. You know, I like my PC Engine, and there's only one game? Who's, who's been in here? That's what I want to know. Is, am I having a negative effect on these things? Are people watching this and saying, hey, I gotta go get those games before Jim gets there? I'm not even mentioning. There's Cosmo Gang, the video. There's Ushio Totora, kind of a fun action platformer. Gradius 3, for what looked like a mere 1500 yen one of my favorite games on the SNES period big fan of that but there's some Yu Yu Hakusho there's some Dragon Quest there's some Fire Pro Wrestling Darius Twin and uh, for 1100 yen that's a yes uh, there's some Rockman Soccer Darius Twin good find today any shoot 'em ups are always going to be good stuff but we got some PC Genjin we got Final Fight we've got some Oshaberi Jikyo Oshaberi Parodius Super Puyo Puyo uh, Kirby the Deluxe Pack or whatever it's called, Rushing Beat, and um, what is it? The Great Battle, uh, the original, or is it Great Battle 2? Another Parody Stop, Magic Sword. You kidding me? 2,000 yen, 17 bucks. Gone Body Goemon 3 for like 2,000 yen. Good, good games. Uh, so I was really happy about that. So when the camera went away, I did indeed go grab a basket. And start filling her up. Uh, fill her up with games. But there's more stuff down here. There's Rockman 7. Great game. More copies of Gradius 3. Uh, which is a pleasant surprise. This one here. What is that price at? Like 2,000 yen or something? More expensive than the other copy was. But you put that down. You look at this copy here. And it's 1,000 yen. It's like half the price. And to take a look at it, there's maybe like a little damage to it, but you know, nothing too severe for half price. I'll go with that. We've got Fatal Fury 2, The Lion King, Final Fight 2, Awesome, Bomberman, more Rockman 7s. Wow. So I was really pleased uh, with everything they had on the Super Famicom, and uh, I did pick up quite a few of those loose carts. Like I said, the box games were kind of meh, but they had a lot of loose carts. And we had some little strategy guys down here too, which is nice. Got some DBZ, some Yoshi's Island. Uh, so that's okay. But now we're moving on to the loose Famicom carts. And they had some good stuff here too. Adventure Island, Kunio-kun, uh, Niketsu Koha, Kunio-kun, Jaja Maru-kun. Always fun. Uh, and the prices weren't too bad either. There was a lot of stuff between like 300 yen... And a thousand yen. There's Arkanoid, Zevius, Bomberman, Rockman 4 for 2,000 yen. It's actually not too bad for that. Super Dodgeball, a thousand. Some Kunio Soccer for a few hundred. Another Rockman 4. We've got Sky Kid, Rockman 3, and that's at 1,500 yen. And it was a super clean cart. 
Uh, nice and bright green, super clean, good label, everything just uh, fantastic. Twin B, Top Gun, Rockman 2, all the greats, and you love them. Uh, but that's going to do it, folks. Thanks for watching. I needed to buy some games, so put the camera down and say good night, Jim.